At the heart of Sarkin Power, which is over 65 kilometers from the Sarkin Power headquarters of Munyan local government area of Niger State, notorious bandit kingpins like Belo Terji, Dogo Dede, and others had made the forest home before they were finally sacked. One of the affected Sarkin Power residents, Esther Boyi, said she had not been able to leave her community like she used to since the attacks. Also, a transport union leader, Haruna Yusuf, described how the incident had affected the locals and the transportation business in the area. Sometimes we would like to go and look for our daily bread. Sometimes we're here, they are here, or they have blocked this road, though. so we need to go back home. Like people are coming from uh, outside there. The, uh, the, the bodies have already blocked them. For returnees like Sunday Moses, they have nowhere to reside as their house has been burnt down. They made passionate appeals to the state government to rebuild the houses for them as well as provide water, schools and hospitals. My husband is ill and I have seven children. Now all the houses are demolished. We need help from the government. One government help us to build the house. Then number two, we need water. Meanwhile, the state government has promised speedy resettlement for the returnees. The deputy governor of the state, Yakubu Garuba, urged the bandits to embrace peace and become responsible citizens. Combined, or specialized hunters, our local vigilante, DSS, and even the military, that has curtailed 60% of the inflow of the bandit into our communities. Abandoned telecommunication masts and deserted communities, some of which were used for over five years as bandit hideouts and shelter for their kidnapped victims any time they struck around Kaduna and Niger State, littered everywhere. Ameze Bazwaye, ITV News.